this video is going to be about convergent and divergent evolution. So convergent evolution is the evolution of similar features in independent evolutionary lineages, so in unrelated organisms. So analogous refers to characteristics that are similar because of convergent evolution, not homology. So if you remember from the video on homology, um, homologous structures are going to be structures that are similar because of uh, shared ancestry, whereas analogous structures are going to be structures that are similar because of convergent evolution and not shared ancestry. So analogous features then have similar functions but no common ancestry. And then homologous features have common ancestry but they don't always have a similar function. So then divergent evolution is going to be the accumulation of differences between closely related populations within a species that eventually leads to speciation. So an example of this would be Darwin's finches. So originally all of these finches belonged to the same species, but over time we had the accumulation and differences in uh, beak based on the kinds of seeds that they were able to have access to, and that eventually led to the creation of different species of finch. And so um, to kind of uh, remember the difference between convergent and divergent evolution. Divergent, uh, it's easier to remember you're starting all together and then you're spreading out to form different things. So you start with a single species and then differences accumulate and you go out to form different species. Whereas convergent, everything is converging to the same point. So you have unrelated species that are adapting to their environments in similar ways all developing similar adaptations, so you're going from a bigger picture down to a narrow picture um, with those organisms. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.